Hello and welcome to Grand VJ XT and its brand new video mapper. We'll show you in this short tutorial how to make a simple video mapping with only one projector. For this, we will use the demo version, which is available on our website. You will find now two applications, the video mapper and Grand VJ. We open Grand VJ. The first is to check in which mode we are. By default, the software will be in instant mode. For video mapping, you have to turn it in video mapper mode. If you are not in video mapper mode, the software will have to restart once. When you are in video mapper mode, you can see at the top right of my application the video mapper icon. If I click it, the video mapper interface will show. I uncheck all these buttons except the first one to see the left side of the window. We'll get back on them on other tutorial. On the left side, the video projector shows up. I can click here to identify my display. Here we have our laptop, which is A1, and the projector, which is A2. Select the output on which you want to full screen. To create a new surface, click on the rectangle or triangle that appears on the right when the display item is selected. In the source, I can select a test background. This test background will help me to map an easy way. There is different test pattern in 4x3, 16x9, and of course you can select Grand VJ as a source. Let's select a test pattern and go back to our mapping. I can create as many surfaces I need just clicking here on the rectangle or triangle icon. The list of surfaces on the display is like a stack of layers from top to bottom. You can change the order of the surface by dragging them around in the list. The first surface will be displayed on top of the other. I create my first surface and I make sure my projector is activated. Enable full screen gets darker and I can see my surface on the cube. On the right here under display you'll find all the information on the projector, its resolution, its frequency. When you select a surface, its properties are displayed in the inspector on the right. You can modify geometrical parameters by editing the surface directly in the graphical editor or by enter numerical values in the inspector. To map my surface, I have to deform it. To deform my surface, I use a grid pattern. So I check Edit Grid in the inspector. Each control point of the grid can then be dragged separately. It's very easy. You can use a mouse, you can use a keyboard with the arrow key, you can jump to 1 pixel, 10 pixel to go pixel perfect. I map my surface on the face of my cube, I will turn it a bit, so I enter 1 in the rotation parameter here and I make sure to give a name to my surface. It's important to rename it to use it later in Grand VJ. I create a second surface and click Edit Grid to deform it. I already determined the right side of my block. Some of the corners are the same as the left side. With the snap function, I just have to come close enough to this point so they can snap together an easy way. This makes it easy, fast and pixel perfect. You see that everything we are doing on the software is also visible live on the output. We really do the mapping live on the blog. So I create here a third surface, edit it, and here again, the snapping is very useful to make it fast and pixel perfect. As you can see, we've got our surface here and we can go back to Grand VJ now. Let's select sources and we can start playing with Grand VJ. By default, when I play a video, it will display on all surfaces. In the mixer, you can see all the surface we've just created. You see all output is selected. Here I want to play a different visual on each surface of my cube. So here I will insert an AB mixer above my visual and I select the left side of my cube. 
Then I will create a new visual and insert an AB mixer above it. And I want it to display on the top of my cube, so I choose cube top. Okay, then I can select the third mixer to display on the right side of the cube and I choose this little loop. So here each visual plays on every surface and we can play with Grand VJ to change the visuals. So thank you for listening to this tutorial and welcome back for more.